In the ever-evolving landscape of sustainable transportation, a new player enters the arena, Revo Zero, with its amply named Energy, a hydrogen-powered miniman promising a revolutionary 700-mile range and a unique take on electric fuel cell integration. But is this a genuine contender in the race for clean mobility, or a vaporous vision obscured by vague details? Let's delve into the Revo Zero Energy, dissecting its hydrogen heart, innovative features and the lingering questions that surround its ambitious claims. So let's start with its propulsion system. It's weird. You see the energy boasts a plug-in fuel cell powertrain, a concept that raises eyebrows and begs for detailed explanation. Unlike the familiar fuel cell electric vehicles that rely solely on hydrogen to generate electricity, the Revo Zero proposes a hybrid approach. It marries a traditional electric vehicle battery with a hydrogen fuel cell, promising the best of both worlds while negating their individual drawbacks. Here's where things get intriguing, if a bit confusing. Revo Zero described the electric battery as the primary power source, propelling the energy until the hydrogen fuel cell kicks in. This is seemingly the opposite of how traditional fuel cell EVs operate, where hydrogen reigns supreme and batteries play a supplementary role. The company further clarifies that the hydrogen fuel cell acts as an onboard, on-demand charger, essentially refueling the battery on the go, extending the range to a claimed 700 miles. This makes the energy more akin to a hydrogen range extended electric vehicle, using the fuel cell to avoid range anxiety, not as a primary source of propulsion. I will say if this thing has a set of fuel cells as well as a bunch of batteries, she gon' be heavy. Anyways, on to the 700 mile claim. Is it reality or is it dreamland? This audacious range figure immediately captures attention, especially in the realm of hydrogen or EV vehicles where a 300 to 400 mile range is currently considered impressive. However, skepticism is warranted without specifics on battery size, fuel cell capacity and energy efficiency. Achieving 700 miles consistently would require careful optimization and potentially larger capacities than current fuel cell EV offerings, impacting factors like weight and size. So I'll keep my eyes and ears open, maybe they'll release more info over time. Anyways, let's talk a bit more on hydrogen. While hydrogen offers compelling advantages such as rapid refueling and zero emissions, its widespread adoption is hampered by limited infrastructure. River Zero acknowledges this hurdle, offering at-home battery charging alongside hydrogen refueling. This dual approach provides flexibility, and I will say, I do believe that the hydrogen infrastructure will get a lot better in the near future. If you watch my channel a lot, you'll know that I'm a massive fan of hydrogen and because I'm a big fan, I know of many projects that are in the works from different companies, from Cummins to Porsche and Rimac. Millions is being invested in the technology, so it will just take time. But let's carry on and talk a bit more on the Revo, specifically the inside of the future MoMA van. So the energy's interior hints at comfort and take forward touches. Individual seats throughout the three rows promise ample space, while a flat bottom steering wheel and L-shaped display with various sections catered to modern driver preferences. Wood and carbon fiber accents add a touch of luxury. Unfortunately, what I'm showing you here is about as much as I know, as Revo Zero remains frustratingly mum on crucial details regarding the interior layout, material quality and specific functionalities on the various displays. This lack of transparency leaves us with more questions than answers but I will say it does look nice. But the fact that they aren't exactly open on sharing details on stopping them from asking you money. You see, despite the uncertainty surrounding technical specifications and timelines, Revo Zero is already accepting pre-orders for their energy with a $500 refundable deposit. This bold move speaks to the company's confidence in its vision, but potential buyers should exercise caution. With production dates shrouded in mystery, a final date still to be determined, and reliance on regulatory testing, the wait for the energy could be longer than the promised 700 mile range. So the verdict, while the Revo Zero Energy undoubtedly possesses potential, its promised hybrid powertrain offers an intriguing alternative to pure fuel cell EVs, and the claimed 700 mile range is a tantalizing vision of hydrogen's potential. However, the lack of specifics, the unproven concept, and the hazy production timeline make it difficult to judge its ultimate viability. As with any startup venture, 
caution and due diligence are essential before putting down a deposit. Plus, I'm not a fan of battery production, so the fact that this thing will still have a large set of batteries on board kind of sours the whole deal for me. I know it's a new take and it's cool and it's different and everything, I'm just not a fan of battery production or battery disposal. But yeah, that's me. Everybody has their own opinions, so maybe some of you guys like it. Despite the lingering doubts, the energy pushes the boundaries of technology, tests to defy range limitations and presents a unique approach to merging battery and fuel cell power. If River Zero can translate its ambitious vision into reality, the energy could be a game changer, not just for the company, but for the entire hydrogen mobility ecosystem. I mean, all it takes for people to see hydrogen in a new light is a highly successful hydrogen vehicle. So maybe this thing can help more people see hydrogen in a better light. But what do you guys think of this weird hybrid hydrogen mobile? Do you guys like it? Do you guys dislike it? What do you think of this hybrid take on hydrogen but yeah let me know what you think if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you did like it you'll most probably like by some other stuff so just go through my channel see if there's something else you like i'll check you guys in the next one cheers i